Okay, we're back for lunch. Um, so we're going to be having our one of our four uh, lemon isotonic beverages <clears throat> for lunch. Uh, that goes with 250 mils of water. Uh, stir and drink. That is a super fine powder. Which is much finer than sugar. Um, so, as usual, toss that in there. Grab a canteen. No noise. Got our main heating back behind us here. And our water. We can manage this without flailing around too much. 250 mils of water or approximately eight ounces. floaty in there. Don't think. It may have been in the pouch, may have been in the cup, I'm not sure. Or it may have come from the canteen. I don't know. Anyway, no harm, no foul. Switch that down. Grab our spoon. Stir. Some sugar in there, obviously. It's very fine and seems to dissolve fairly quickly. Not bad. We'll just set that down, give it a minute. Give it another stir. Again, 1.5 gram a tea bag. Easy to open. And it's a tea, 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 tea. So it's tea in five different languages. Okay, don't do that. I thought that would pull up. Looks like it does, but apparently, uh, no, it doesn't. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well, I guess that's the way we go with it then. And again, it's not mad hard, it's a cup of tea. So just uh, water. I'll let it steep. Obviously, going to be a black tea, not a green tea. Salt on standby. Grab our Canadian issue mess tin. As it's lunch, smaller of the two. Let's save the larger of the two for dinner, even though we can, you know, obviously clean out between the two, it doesn't really matter. And for our lunch, we are going to be doing our uh, pasta with beef, which is a 300 gram entree, as well as our cassoulet is a 300 gram for dinner. So uh, prepared meal, sterilized product, hot or cold, yada yada, ne pas consumer si la chache. Uh, so don't eat if it's damaged. So it does have French on it as well. But then again, that's a Jamipsa one. But it does have... I may have to look up that symbol, see what that means. Not sure if that signifies something. It might be. I don't know. Anyway. Open her up. This was fireproof fingers again. Ouch. A big honking chunk of beef right there. Let's get this out. Mm. 
Yeah, right. Okay, well, replacing that. Good to go. And I said this one was fairly simple. Pasta, beef, onions, spices, garlic, tomato concentrate. Yeah, so this is just... And again, it is freezing outside. So this is steaming madly away in here. So it looks like um, rotini, I believe, and not fusilli. It's one of the spiral pastas. And then you've got chunks o' beef. And judging by that, that is not repressed, reformed, depressed, deformed chunks of meat. That is actual meat meat. Um, yeah, so let's give uh, some of the pasta a shot first. And that noodle already snapped in half, so. That's very simple. Not a bad way, but very simple. Um, the pasta is not al dente. And like most Americans uh, without Italian heritage, um, I don't like crunchy pasta. Um, The beef is tasty. Um, comes apart fairly well. <clears throat> Again, very simple, not like super depth of flavor, but it, I mean, it's good. It's kind of like chunks of beef in like a Chef Boyardee kind of thing without the heavy, heavy, heavy tomato sauce. It's just like a light tomato flavor. I would say maybe that's like a third or half the salt that's in there. So I drop the clots. Anyway. Try that with a bit of salt. Mm -hmm. That elevates it. Um, just that extra little bit of salt. It's quite good. Again, you don't have to salt the crap out of it. You don't want to dehydrate yourself by over-salting things provoking thirst. Um, you can definitely tell with the white glass that this is a clear liquid, even though this is a lemon isotonic beverage. Okay, that's different. That is... Hmm. That, I enjoy that, actually. Um, it's not sugary. It expresses more of a, like a lemon oil. Like if you take a lemon zest and you twist it or lemon peel I should say and, and twist it or you smell lemon zest I get more of that than just like a citric or ascorbic acid sour like warhead candy kind of vibe off that I, th I think I would prefer that to some of the other lemonade kind of flavors I've had
solid lunch for sure. Um, tea, got the bag out. Didn't squeeze it. It's a standard black tea. Not super strong. Probably just like a generic orange pico kind of a flavor. All in all, pretty good. Um, got some biscuits left over from breakfast. Could have them with that. Could put them on that. Uh, I'm not a big need the texture kind of fan, but uh, anyway, we'll uh, deal with this, finish that, and uh, back for dinner. Be right back. Okay, so we're back for our dinner portion. And uh, give out the large mess tin. So we have our cassoulet, which is sausage, well, beans and sausage, not sausage and beans. Percentage-wise, again, a 300-gram main. Uh, and I just have our fruit cocktail, and I actually recycled and reheated, um, obviously not in that, but... <clears throat> microwave the tea I had from lunch because uh, I'm not just going to rip open another tea bag. It's just a waste. Um, so we'll go with our cassoulet. There's our beans and sausage. Quite sizable beans. And our little mini Vienna sausage Frankfurter kind of things going on there. And that's out. garbage and uh, ready to dig into that and then we'll uh, enter the lottery on the old fruit cocktail okay that was interesting that should not have been under pressure That's interesting. I wonder if this is going to be a little fuzzy as far as got everything out, as far as fermented, maybe. Hmm. Let me pause while I grab a paper towel here. Placing not only the uh, the bottom but the entire backdrop. Um, that was uh, unexpected. Need that to see, do we? Um, yeah, that was kind of weird. Doesn't look particularly fermented. Anyway, it's like our uh, Tushanka episode all over again. So there's all of one, two, three little sausages in there. A big old gelatinous chunk of pork fat. Um, and some uh, big ass kidney beans, I guess. Let's uh, give that a taste. Let's try the beans first. Doesn't look like a lot of texture there, but we'll see. Mm, not really. Kind of your standard baked bean kind of. Oops, sorry. Juggling the world here. Mm, there's like a baked bean texture to it. They're obviously well cooked. Try our little wiener, I guess. That 
pretty much is a hot dog wiener. It's no real... super sausage texture to it. There's a bit of tomato in that. Again, it's plain. It's not bad. Could do with a bit of salt. Got the salt over there, but um, just for horror effects, I'll uh, let's try that, shall we? Yep, that's a big old jellified block of uh, fat. That's all that is. We'll palate cleanse with that. That's quite the spray. <laughs> it's an arterial spray off that one. Mm. Oh well. Get out our spoon. And we got uh, got two halves on that, so uh, that's uh, that's pretty good for a fruit cocktail. Try the syrup. See if that's a little it smells like fruit cocktail. Oh God! It tastes like fruit cocktail. It's not really. Yeah, not, nope. It, it tastes like fruit cocktail. Sorry about that. Uh, but it tastes more like metal than fruit cocktail. So I'm sure that's fine. I'm not going to be eating that though. Um, no, I'm working tomorrow. So I'm not going to chance that. And the metallic flaced flaced flavor or taste really is not doing it any favors and that chocolate bar is bloomed as heck that's just awesome nice snap though Mm-hmm, that's fine. Zero seven twenty twenty two. So that's probably an exp that is the expiration date. So this is vaguely out of date. It's not bad. It's quite tasty actually. I mean honestly. Considering go with a chewing gum. It's probably peppermint, but we'll see. And again, I thought you got eight, but there's two. Oh, we got seven. Mm -hmm. Try one. Super pepperminty. It's a good palate cleanser. Throw it around in your mouth for a while. Clean up any bits of food that are kicking around there. That's fine. Have it with your tea and you got peppermint tea. Anyway, that's a 24 hour Iron Man Packing, Western Menu 3. Um, again, we'll clean up, clear up, and um, come for final way up. And, uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, we're back among the uh, carnage here. 
so I've taken the liberty of weighing the items that I have not bothered to eat. Because, uh, again, it was more of a tasting than that I have to consume everything. Um, so we've got uh, three packs of biscuits left over. The packaging weighs about four grams each, so that's about 12 grams. Um, everything else seems about negligible, but you know what? I'll ballpark it at about an extra 20 grams, maybe, um, as far as garbage. So we're at zero. Get down to there. Uh, so we're at 212 grams. So say 232 or... Uh, say 7.6 ounces, 7.7 .7 ounces, somewhere around there. Um, so that's going to be your garbage. Um, but all in all, um, I'm glad I had the opportunity to try one of these. Um, that's the only one in my collection. Again, the other two I have are the boxes, the dry and the wet. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, I really got to fix that so I stop banging into the camera. Um, yeah, another review, um, Iron Man Packing, Type 3 Western. Hope to see you all again soon, and, uh, yeah, don't worry, I'll drag this into two parts and, uh, put a coffee break in the middle. Anyway, Reverend Street Joe, I'm out.